Guys, this is really unbelievable. We have the Mr. Thomas Gagla, Executive Master Chef, and he's the President of World Association of uh, Chef Societies. It's such an honor to have you, Mr. Thomas. Great pleasure. The Thank same you. here. And Mr. Thomas, you've been an executive chef and you've been uh, you're the celebrity chef. Where do you see the industry moving forward in terms of uh, food packaging? How do you perceive it to move forward, sir? I mean, uh, luckily for your company, definitely a lot of the direction goes into uh, fast food packaging, takeout, and uh, a kind of uh, yeah disposable items which uh, making life for people much easier in a lot of regards and uh, system gastronomy definitely is one of your biggest clients which is good i know you have a fantastic product you are doing a different segments from paper into cardboard into plastic into pvc whatever which is good and um, i know that the, the products generally are very well uh, welcome in the industry because it's a it's a high-end product and uh, I have to say uh, congratulations to what you are doing. You it's so definitely it's amazing and I'm looking forward to see you all around that uh, you are supporting the hospitality industry with your products and uh, always keeping the support up. And how do you see the industry moving forward sir like is there any uh, like now you're talking about the cloud kitchen concepts and how do you see the industry from the regular Traditional uh, uh, now, definitely, I have to say I am actually a gastronomy specialist and I'm coming from the fine dining, from the top kitchens in the world, which definitely, uh, fortunately, unfortunately, I have to say, I'm not a real good <laughs> fan of anything which comes cloudy, sh shipped in and shipped out, okay, because uh, for me, one of the most important things is healthy, happy, decent food okay, for okay. people in the hospitality industry in restaurants okay. while we always have to consider that uh, people are nowadays very very busy mm -hmm. they are very engaged with their day-to-day -day commitment and yeah. making money so the time for cooking has been uh, drastically reduced at home they focusing more on their uh, work which they have to do to have their daily income okay. so it's, it's a good opportunity for them to call in food or to get food actually delivered which does go in your okay. direction and favor okay. so it's I think a good hand in hand a good combination in not touching the fine food where people are eating on the weekend okay. and during the week they are getting the support from your industry okay. which is I think uh, mutual and a dual uh, positive outcome. And uh, I'm wishing your company a great success for the future. Thank you, thank you. And Mr. work that out, thank okay? And uh, we had about uh, next year, uh, there is one uh, chip, World Chip Championship is happening in uh, Germany. Look, uh, I mean, all four years we have the Culinary Olympics, okay. which is the most prestigious uh, cooking uh, uh, competition in the world. Okay. Um, definitely next year as well, we have the World Congress in St. Petersburg in Russia from the World Organization of Chefs Societies, World Chefs, okay. which we have chefs from 110 countries, all the presidents going to St. Petersburg. We are doing this all two years. Okay. Uh, one year ago, we had the World Congress in Malaysia, and before that, two years, it was in Greece. Okay. So we are rotating it through throughout the entire world okay. and uh, one of the highlights definitely is always the culinary mm. uh, Olympics which Olympics. will be held in Stuttgart okay. in February um, 2020. So you are heading the UAE team or? No, actually I'm not based in the UAE, okay. I'm based in Saudi Arabia okay. which is uh, a brother or a sister okay. of the UAE, but uh, my very good colleague, uh, President Uwe Michel, uh -huh. which is actually the leader uh -huh. with Andy Kaspert here uh -huh. in the uh, UAE, okay. are definitely sending a fantastic team to the ICA, uh -huh. which is called International Kokosnachstelle in Culinary Olympics, okay. and I'm wishing them uh, good of uh, good luck and uh, okay. big success because okay. I've seen the progress in the past 10-15 uh, years as I'm coming here, uh -huh. nearly. 20 years and I seen the development in the culinary world and uh, it's a very very big contribution and saying thank you to Andy Kaspert and uh, Uwe Michel and as well to two people which unfortunately passed away this year and last year which is uh, Mr. Alan Tang and Mr. Michael Wunsch. Uh -huh. uh, God let them rest in peace. Okay. They were uh, the fundamental people here in the United Arab Emirates okay. together with Michael Lee 
to install and establish the culinary guild here in Great. UAE. And sir, so, Mr. Thomas, one personal question. I'm really, you're the show stealer and uh, what's the secret of your glamour, sir? You look so young and energetic. Up here, so wonderful, sir. So very nice. You, you, you want to say I'm copper fit for poor people, huh? <laughs> 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 no, I mean, you have to think positive in life, definitely. You have to always uh, go for challenges. Yeah. Don't think, take things personal because mostly it's all job related and work related. Related. and if you are having a positive uh, energy you always can achieve what you want to achieve thank as you, so you prove with your products too sir. <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much great pleasure great pleasure great pleasure nice to meet you too together no problem thank you so much